Welcome to Worked Examples in Accounting, brought to you by Park Bench Tutors and presented by David Hopcroft. For more information about Park Bench Tutors, visit us at parkbenchtutors.com or you can find us on Facebook. In this podcast, what we're going to look at is a single company and we are going to compare the performance across three years. So we've got the financial statements summary for Jones Solar Panels and it goes across the years 2012, 2011 and 2010. So what we're going to do this time is present a series of questions in the form of statements and we're going to ask you which is correct. So in the first one what we're looking at is inventory turnover and has it increased steadily since 2010? Has it decreased steadily since 2010? Was it greatest in 2011? Was it lowest in 2010? So one of those statements, because it only asks which, or could be more than one, so which of the following statements is correct? Well, to answer this one, what we've got to do is work out the inventory turnover. Remember, that is cost of sales over inventory. And we're going to have to do it for each year. So in 2012, it works out as 5.3 times. In 2011, it works out at 18 times and in 2010 it works out at 9.5 times so if we go back to our original questions the answer is C the inventory turnover was greatest in 2011 that's a correct statement now let's look at another statement here a series of statements the average collection period has it exceeded 30 days over the last uh, three years? Has there been improvement in the average collection period? Has there been little change? Does it now exceed 100 days? Is it over the 30 days allowed for pavements for each of the last three years? So again you can see all of these are on collections so we're talking about collection periods so we're talking about receivables so we're going to have to look at the trade receivables collection period so that's trade receivables multiplied by 365 over revenue so we work it out 2012 for 73 days 2011 is 73 days 2010 is 75 days you can see really there hasn't been any great change but 2010 was in fact the largest of those periods so in fact two of the statements were correct first of all there has been little change in the average collection period over the last three years and secondly that the average collection period is well over the 30 days allowed for payment for each of those last three years so the answer would be that statements C and E are correct let's try another one here we are referring now not to receivables but to payables does the company have any difficulty meeting payables limits of over 30 days is it improving and reducing the amount of time is it consistently failing to meet the average length is there insufficient information in those statements to make any reasonable deduction and did it perform best in 2011 when the average time meeting trade payables was lowest okay so we're going to have to calculate trade payables payment periods so we're going to take trade payables multiplied by 365 divided by cost of sales in 2012 68 days 2011 101 days 2010 115 days so we can see a number of things there we can see that it has in fact been reducing from 115 down to 68 we can also see that 2010 was the largest therefore and we can see that the effect really is that all of those are failing to meet a 30-day period which would be expected for payment would normally be 30 days net so if we go back then we can say that there are two statements B and C which are correct that the company is showing an improvement and reducing the amount of time that passes before payables are settled but the company is also consistently failing to meet the average for length of payments and it's always exceeded 30 days average and we are talking about an average there so here's another one which of the following statements is incorrect okay note the slight difference in the phrasing here things you've got to watch out for with multiple choice questions here we're not looking for a correct statement we're looking for an incorrect statement 
or more than one statement may be incorrect. So we're looking at inventory holding periods. So inventories multiplied by 365 divided by the cost of sales. For 2012 it's 68 days. For 2011 it's 20 days and for 2010 it's 38 days so 2011 was the lowest there 2012 was the highest so let's go back to those so the longest period was in 2010 that's incorrect because in fact the longest period was in 2012 but the other statements are all in fact correct the inventory holding period in 2010 exceeded that for 2011 all the periods exceeded 10 days they have fluctuated there's not a s steady rise or fall and the longest one then was in 2012 so this is a nice straightforward and typical one that you might get select the correct answer from the following the working capital cycle for 2012 was okay so it's fairly clear from that question that all you have to do is work out the working capital cycle for 2012 which means of course you need to know what the working capital cycle is you take the inventory days add the receivable days subtract the payable days and we've already worked all those out and we're only interested in 2012 so 68 days for inventory 73 days for receivables as it happens 68 days also for payables so we're going to be left with 73 days as the answer which means of course the correct answer there was B 73 days now this one is on gearing ratios all those statements refer to gearing ratios and we're looking at all three years so we're going to have to work out the gearing ratios for all three years before we can in fact determine what the correct statements are going to be so gearing is non-current liabilities multiplied by 100 divided by the total equity plus non-current liabilities we're going to do this for three years so in 2012 comes to 33 percent 2011 17.6% 2010 4.8% so we can in fact see 2010 was the lowest 2012 is the highest and there's been a steady increase in the gearing ratio and the figure for 2010 4.8 2011 17.6 2012 33% so we go back to our question and what we can see in fact that the correct statements well the first four are all correct statements the gearing ratio is 2010 was higher than in previous years that's the only incorrect statement there that's the end of this short tutorial as a work example brought to you by park bench tutors presented by david hopcroft thank you for watching and for listening for more information look us up on facebook or find us at parkbenchtutors.com